There is a big obligation on you young people today to take a help to take a grip of our country and the world. There are whole issues about climate change and so on more broadly and make sure that the next 50 years are better than the last 50 years. And that's what the Elite Foundation, that's the principle on which we are founded. Where I lack in ability, lack in skills, I'm made up in hard work. And what I also learned is that the more, the more I practice, the more I try, the better I became. And eventually, I was just as good as them. Same level, but I did take my foot off the pedal. I've carried on working harder than they did. Whatever you do, particularly if you join a company, be passionate about culture, brands, people, business, the law, if you're a lawyer in life, stay humble and keep things in perspective. A few years ago, when the Brexit campaign was run, four people led that campaign. Two against two. Four men who were all friends at Oxford University, all of the same age, all went to public school. We have 65 million people from the country, and the fate of the nation rests in the hands of four white men who've been in university together and have been, although no longer are, free. So we can complain as much as we like, unless we get into a position of power, we're always gonna be asking for people's crumbs. Hmm. All right? So we should not just be an MP. Don't think about just being an MP. Set your targets to be prime minister. Don't just be a CFO, be a CEO. Because unless we're in a position of power, we're not going to make a difference. Don't miss your opportunity to be great. Did you hear what I said? Don't miss your opportunity to be great. This doesn't happen every day. I don't care what university you go to. This doesn't happen every day. You are the architects of our future. So when I was on the programme in 2017, I was actually quite nervous. I'd been around so many inspirational young people. I had a buddy and funnily enough, the buddy was um, somebody who went to my university and they really kind of helped um, calm down my fears and encouraged me to take a leadership position within my team, um, which I think really exposed me to a lot of different personalities, a lot of different um, you know, interactions and experiences which have helped me in my leadership style. The thing that we're trying to tackle is finding the most talent, talent and like minimising unconscious bias. And then we have the solution, which is our platform called Cyber, um, which streamlines the recruitment process using an algorithm that you can filter using skills. It's mostly what I you know is one issue that you know, graduates face is they don't have the working work experience to get themselves into the door. So that's what we want to provide through the virtual work experience or the virtual placement. And also with the virtual assessment, we're also then able to allow them to work still behind the same procedure with the blind CD so they can excel, shine. To be further reinforced by a reward system that is also gamified. So as you acquire experience and points, notifications will be sent towards a manager or someone that's responsible for uh, allocating rewards. And those rewards will then be passed on to the person that, that acquired them. But to ensure your workplace reflects the wonderful uniquenesses of our society, we're your secret to finding diverse talent. We will find the talent and you will hear their stories. This is Cyber. Hello, Alito. Hello. You are an inspiration. You are an inspiration. Your stories are our very being. Our stories possess power to create opportunities. Our stories give us power to move mountains. If we win out, if it's too late, was amazing. One of the biggest lessons that I got from it was don't give up. Even when my natural instinct is to just give up, I should keep on pushing until we find a solution because my team actually ended up winning the team challenge.
we won because we're Team F. Team F for the win. Team F. Team F. Yeah, man, it was good, man. It was a very good experience. I loved it. We run a car, David. Big shout out to you guys. Mom and Dad. So wonderful, man. The way you look pull it on. Keep trying harder. I want a hundred. No, do you know what? I want a hundred and ten percent. And always be on time. Always be on time. Always be on time. Definitely one nugget. If anything, David saw us. Definitely always be on time. The one thing that I've definitely learned from this challenge is even when you give me your all, give me more. Um, one thing I've learned with my team, especially, of course, he didn't win, but one thing we learned as a team is even when we were tired, stressed, weren't getting it, we still all persevered as one. Well. And that's one thing I definitely took away from the deal.